Alright everyone, this is Zero Budget Geek, and welcome back to Tales of Berseria. Alright guys, welcome back, and as usual, the first thing we're going to do is check our expedition that came this. back. Perfect win, and we got a Princess Stories collection, blah blah. This will be big. What a treasure! Valkyne's Cryus Trinket, a miniature obelisk unearthed from, from the Americian subcontinent, appears to be an artificial crystal made by an ancient civilization, but their methods remain unknown. Alright. Grit and Guts is a new skill we've learned. Alright, let's send them back out to there. Alright, and the skill list Grits and Guts means what? Victory rate up. Okay, awesome. Alright, Master Trivia and uh, whatever. Alright. Back to this. So, lots of things have happened in the last episode, and I didn't get to address it, but man, I found it very, very touching, very emotional. Um, you know, we've built up the relationships, or, you know, getting to know these characters so long has made it quite interesting. And we are, I think they said we're in some kind of extra dimensional space that we need to also get out of. Escape from this unknown place is our goal. All right, well, there's only one way to go. It's down these stairs. So let's go for it. And I think uh, maybe it's time. Oops. Oh, we've mastered stuff here. Uh, I think I have all the stuff that I need. I can't get anything else. Um, I think I want to change up our character a bit here. Do we have any other... Interesting outfits. All oh, the swimwear. Eh. Let's go with the jacket list for a little bit. And why not this? Hey, finally we can start picking up stuff again. You seem awfully chipper, Velvet. I'm fine. And I guess I have you to thank as well. Perhaps. But gratitude doesn't suit you. Now, say, ah. Uh. Huh? I need to see your teeth. I made a hundred gold bet that you'd break, remember? So, I need to see if you've broken anything. Let's start with those teeth. Help us out, kiddo. All right. I just need to check our front teeth, right? Front teeth, canines, whatever. Just get in there and take a good hard look. You didn't mean that literally, did you? Why are you making Fee do the checking? Acting the innocent maiden, are we? Well, I suppose that some say that showing the inside of your mouth can be more personal than being seen naked. What? Seriously? Magilu, you're only making this even more <laughs> awkward. Come now, will you cooperate or not? We can't settle the bet until we know the tooth. Fine, but let's check the ones in my left hand first. Good, I believe Bienfu can assist with that. Why me? Leave me out of this! Bien! She's squeezing me! Ouch! Those fangs hurt! <laughs> Looks like Velvet is just fine. Yeah, the sparks return to her eyes. But, uh, is showing the inside of your mouth really that embarrassing? What? Keep your intrusive questions to yourself! What the hell? That is weird. Alright, that was quite funny though. The size of the art that created this place. Just what is the Abbey planning to use it for? Whatever it is, they're trying hard to keep it hidden. Can't be anything good. Actually, I think I want to go back to her, uh... The regular hair. But that outfit, yeah, it looks a little better. All right, so did we miss anything? No, there's nowhere to go from there, right? All right? We'll get up here. Let's see how tough the enemies are in here. Although if I attack them from behind, that won't be a good gauge. You too. Alright, wait. There's two ways to go from here, right? 
Uh, let's check the map. Alright, let's go this way first, because this looks like it's a dead end. And maybe it'll be filled with goodies. Well, it's definitely got some enemies. Go ahead and fight you guys. From behind. Oh. Oh. Fuck you. Pissing me off. What the fuck is wrong with Come on, really? God damn, they were. They were hitting me hard. Alright, let's. Let's get some more practice here. Let's do our best! So now we're gonna get go back up and then go down the other side and see what we find. It's a pretty interesting place. Seems cheerful, but I guess this is supposed to be a. Uh... Hey, oh. who was that kid anyway? He and I used to be tethered to an exorcist named Lady Teresa. He was number one. I was number two. Oh, -ho, a friend of yours then. So he went feral after that Teresa lady fell. Yeah. I found Velvet and the others, but he probably had nowhere to go. A stray Moloch stripped of his free will won't go much further than a demon's belly. Anyway, seems like the only people I run into these days are kids. I'm more in the market for an unattached woman with a pretty face. Um, sorry? <laughs> I'm just fooling around. Grow a sense of humor, kid. Anyway, relax. I'll keep an eye on him until he's in command of himself again, all right? Just one more reason to bring the Abbey down. Right. Thanks, Savid. Man, as, as I'm playing this, I'm feeling like we're, we're, you know, we're getting so close to the end. And I kind of don't want it to end because I'm enjoying... Enjoying, uh... Playing this game and following the story of these characters. Um... It is making me want to play Tales of Zestiria. Hey, is everyone all right? All right. Uh, I thought it was a better chest than that, but we'll go for it. Arcane bottle. Good enough. Take that. And moving on. Yeah, I, I'm really feeling like I, I want to play uh, completely through Tales of Zestiria. Let me know, guys, if you're interested in seeing a playthrough of that. There, are, Other people have played through it already, so I don't know if it's worth me playing it. I don't know if you would watch it. Let's get started. Are you hurt? Can you stand? Yeah. <laughs> I like that one. Um, so yeah, let me know if you guys would be interested in watching me do a playthrough of uh, the the next game, Tales of Zestiria, which is technically the prior game. 
This is this is the prequel to that. Uh, I do want to double check everybody because we're now getting into some nitty gritty areas. Definitely need to upgrade things here. Uh, he's mastered the Gatling. We'll go with that. But I should go back to my late uh, strategy of uh, mastering the weaker ones first. All of them kicking all of their ass. Look at that shit. What the one behind me? Come on, really? Wow, that was a fucking ass kicking there. Holy shit. That was cool. That's what I try to do. I try to, you know, um, when I'm attacking, I try to orient myself so that I'm hitting the most enemies as possible because when you do that, there's a higher likelihood hey, of something happening. Can you think of a good name for the kid? You're giving number one a name? Yeah. He says he can't remember his true name, and calling him by a number seems mean, you know? Yeah. I was really happy when Velvet gave me my name. Hey, I've got this. How about Hajime? It means the first, and he's number one, right? In that case, why not just go with Ichiro? No way. That was Shigure's childhood name. Why should that matter to us? It should be softer. How about Ichi? Or maybe something like Numbi? Numbi? Where'd that one come from? It's like number, but, uh, more cute. No. Let's just forget that one. I don't think we should reference his old number at all. Um, how about Bob? No. Uh, is that just because of his hairstyle? That's really reaching. Actually, I kind of like it. If it's too plain, how about Bobby? No. Hmm. That isn't bad. Right? Then number Ugh. one is hereby renamed... Stop it, you two! You don't understand it at all! A boy doesn't want a name that sounds cute! You... you don't think so? That was quite an outburst. <laughs> the kid has a point. You need something with more panache. How about Silva? Silva? His hair and pendant are both silver. I like it. It's got a certain mystique about it. Silva. Yeah, it sounds cool. Well, if his old buddy Laffy said approves, then Silva it is. Well done, first mate. Praise from you is wasted on me. Huh. <laughs> then consider it praise from Silva instead. Right. Time to go give him the good news. Hey! The Moloch formerly known as Number One. You've got a new <laughs> name. I'm glad he got a good name. Maybe we should have put a little more thought into naming you, too. That's all right. You need to steer your own ship. Right, Aizen? You're the one who taught me that. <laughs> you know just what to say, don't you? Moloch, formerly known as Number Two. <laughs> anyway, um, oh, we got another skip. But what I was saying before I forget, it seems that if you can aim your attacks to hit the most enemies at once, is a higher likelihood that an effect will, you know, will proc. Um, you know, because you want to, you, you get those the extra souls when you cause an effect on the enemy. So the more enemies you can hit at a time, the higher chances on that. Makes sense? Yes? No? Who cares? Anyway, here's another skit. Magilu, what were you up to while we were lost in the Earth Pulse? I was ringing the bell. The rift was open the whole time. Couldn't you hear me? I don't remember hearing any bells. She was fighting with Lord Melchior. She really gave it her all. Pianfu, don't give him the wrong impression. But you endured so much! It was... it was so moving! Yes, 
Yes, yes, I did endure. It was so hard not to laugh. Did the old man tell you a joke or something? It was a staring contest, and oh, the faces that old man can make. I kept picturing him as a young man, but with that same wrinkled face, and it was so hard not to crack. <laughs> I needed to keep myself in check. My desire to laugh was only broken by the ringing of the bell. Clang! Crash! What a thrill! Wait, was that the only thing that broke Moggy Lou? Are you asking if he broke my heart? Like I'm fishing for sympathy? That's not what I meant at all! You stood watch over the Earth Pulse Rift for us. I didn't say that. Stop trying to give me a participation medal. Just take it. After all, you don't care either way, right? True that. <laughs> Magilu's awesome. She is fucking great. They all are. But you are not. Let's get started. Come on, really? Alright. Where are we going? As, con as convoluted as the map looks, it's pretty straightforward, this place. Can't carry that. Alright, looks like this is the way to go. Okay, it's not it's not the exit. Got a lot to go, but what is that glowing up there? Is that something trapped up there? I think we're gonna quick save here just in case. And pop on up there. Oh shit! A dragon! It looks like it's been captured, just like the Therians. But why would they hold a dragon captive? Hmm. An art connects this place to the Earth Pulse. That's probably why we were taken here. Earth Pulse. So it's got something to do with the Nomi Knot? That would be the obvious conclusion. I don't get it. Explain. Small words. Very <laughs> well. You're part of all this, too. Velvet. I'm fine now. I promise. All right. I see. You found out Inominat's true identity. So, now that you know, can you still fight him? It's only given me more reason to kill him. And the Shepherd. You're one ice-cold girl. There's still one thing bothering me. Inominat needs to eat malevolence to awaken. Once he does, he'll use his power to suppress negative emotions. But when humans can't create any more malevolence, what will happen to Inominat? He'll run out of things to eat. And maybe die? Hmm. Wouldn't he just go back to sleep? But if he does, then his power will fade and humanity will start creating malevolence again, right? In order for Inominat to eternally suppress negative emotions... He needs an infinite, powerful source of malevolence to feed off of. For example, that produced by an immortal dragon. Which would make this place a sort of dragon farm, created so he could control humanity forever. You can't be serious! Just speculation, but it all makes sense. They can't think of Malakim as anything but tools. Just how much will they sacrifice for their ideal world of tranquility? Uh, we don't we gotta... dare free it. It'd be too dangerous. I know. Damn the Abbey and their twisted morality. All right, let's check out the skit. <sighs> what was it that I believed in all that time? The image I'd built of the Abbey is crumbling from the bottom up. Please cheer up, Madam Eleanor. You'll make me depressed too. Is this about the dragon farm? Yes. I strongly doubt even the Abbey has the power to manipulate dragons so freely. Then that dragon... Wasn't a dragon before it came here? That's the natural assumption. They probably brought the Malakir as a captive, then turned him into a dragon. Just like Melchior did, eh? Is there no line they won't cross? I don't know what to say. It's not your fault, Madame Eleanor! But spawning dragons in addition to Therians... Do you think they'll figure out a way to make humans, too? Yes. Wait, that's awful! I can't believe you went there! 
<laughs> Alright, well. Our goal is still to escape from this unknown place, but uh, I think uh, we're going to have to deal with this dragon. In which case, I'm going to quick save here. Let's see what happens when we get close. Nothing. Alright. Let's take a look at him. Oof. Alright, let's move on. I guess. Although, imagine. Hmm. Wouldn't it behoove us to just kill him? I mean, it's kind of sucky for the Moloch, but. Jack Cockers. It looks like no one is injured. All right. Well, that worked out. But I completely missed with one of my attacks there. All right. Stop making noise. We're going to continue on our way. Yeah, I, I would think that they would want to destroy the dragon because that's part of what's going to keep Inomina from keep you know, resurrecting. Shut up. I'm going to attack you. you. I'll show you the beauty of my spear work. Oh, oh, die. Die. Not hurt, are you? All right. I think at this point we've seen all the uh, end of combat, uh, just little skits. I was hoping that we uncover more, but this guy's fast. I'll Shit. show you the beauty of my spear I need to get you. <laughs> Nothing can stop these fists. I believe you. All right, grab a soul bottle and head off. So so far these guys haven't been too much too much of an issue. But. I'll show you the beauty of my spear. <laughs> We're finished here. Let's go. Yeah, and that's why I like to hit multiples at once, if at all possible. Uh, Velvet? What is it? I was once your sister's child, right? Then my father is... Look, you were reborn, right? Yeah. Honestly, I really don't know anything about how being reborn works. But to me, what you see... What you hear, and what you feel, that's what's important. Whoever we used to be in another life, I'm me now, and you're you. That's all there is to it. Velvet. That's true. Aizen said that not all Malakim are humans who have been reborn, right? 
Does that mean they could be reincarnations of birds or fish or beasts? That's not, 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 not true! So, if a boy was a dog in a past life, that wouldn't make him part of the dog's family now. Yeah. I'm me, I guess. But you're Velvet's cute little pup, aren't ya? Mogilu. Be careful. I bite. Oh, yeah. mercy! I take it all back, just don't bite me! Rebirth is like the Earth in Historia. You're simply built on a larger foundation. But that's not special. Everyone's lives are founded on the past. So, I'm just me. Yep, you're you and no one else. Your fee. <laughs> Our expedition has returned, plus we got another skit. So let's uh, do this. Give me stuff. New area discovered, Crystallarian Sea, fortune telling trickery. But we're gonna send them on this because we have not completed it yet. All right, and we got a new skit, Zavid's Hunch. Hey, first mate. Who is that horned demon with the old man? I don't know. I thought I felt something different about him. If only for just a moment. Did you feel it too? I said, I don't know. I see. <laughs> You're impossible, you know that? We've come across him before, but we never really fought him. My guess is Melchior is controlling him with some sort of illusion. I see. Then it's probably good you didn't fight. A straight battle against him wouldn't be an easy thing. How do you know that? Intuition. I have a nose for these things. There's something fishy about him. That scar on his face. It couldn't be. What's the matter, Aizen? You've gone pale. Forget it. It's nothing. We need to get out of here. Let's go. Hmm. Give me that thing. Flamestone chip. Is that used for upgrading our stuff? That's what I imagine it is. We, we, we've picked up so many things that I really don't pay attention to what we're picking up. I'm just like, hey, we'll make use of this at some point for some reason. And I'll pick it up then. Pick up all the things. Topaz fragments. Alright. Show me what you got. We Finally. Made it. I came here by ship. It's anchored by the southeast beach. An island wiped from existence. And we got another skit. The exploration of the outer seas is going super well. Yeah. It's all thanks to you guys chipping in. Oh, we haven't done all that much. Well, don't rest on your laurels just yet. Worse things happen at sea, you know. The scouting ship could always get eaten by some giant tentacled horror from the deeps. Danger's a part of the job. Besides, Ifreed's pirates are all about venturing into the unknown. I wonder what's still hidden out there for us to find. Terror Island, for one thing. According to ancient legends, it's an island that moves across the outer seas like a ship. Really? I've never heard of an island like that. Nobody knows if it's real or not, which is exactly why we have to try and find it ourselves. Awesome! I can't wait to get to the bottom of this! Don't get too excited just yet, kiddo. It's good to have enthusiasm and all, but I bet this place is called Terror Island for a reason. I'm not too worried. Like Aizen said, challenging the unknown is what Ifrid's pirates do, no matter what the risk. <sighs> Looks like you've caught the bug too. <laughs> Looks like it. <laughs> yeah, I hope we find it. Uh, what the, oh, shit, there's a cold red demon in this area. And there's a turtle's guy, and there's all kinds of stuff. And I saw the little plant here for me to eat. It gives it to me. Thank you. Alright. Let us... Let us do what? Let us go talk to you. Alright, let's dismantle stuff. I don't know if there's a whole lot to dismantle. I mean, I haven't really gone through all of these. Some of these I can probably get rid of, but I don't know yet. So I'm just getting rid of the duplicates. There we go. It's getting harder to boot. Man, there's so many items in this game. It's crazy. Oh, look at this. We've got a lot of spears we can get rid of. Like each area seems to have like a lot of one kind of thing and we need to like get rid of them. 
Discoids belt, feldspar belt. I should probably keep like two of each, but I'm not even worried about it. I just and the reason I need to get rid of these is so I can uh, use that to enhance my other stuff. All right, I think that's it. We we definitely want to do this now. I don't want to pull, put it off. I really don't want to put it off because uh, I don't know what awaits us. So let's just try to do this quick. I'm trying to do it as fast as I can. Oh my god, you saw those boots? Uh, let's keep these quartz boots, but uh, I'm gonna get rid of all these quartz boots. Except maybe one. Most of these I can probably get rid of. I just don't. It's just it's just too much work for me to check it out. Okay, now we can just enhance stuff. Although, oh here, that's it. Oh, Francois Rabelais Sash. Oh, it's getting a little bit harder for us to upgrade stuff. It would seem. I definitely want to make sure we're all good to go. And that's it. I, I hate when the when when games. Oh, I gotta do the boots. I hate when games make like this. It seems like such an overly complicated system. All right, we're done. Let's quick save. And this guy looks like he might be fun to try out. Come here. I'll finish this quick. Cursed Island Giant. He's armored. All right. I think I want to try to go after the one in the back. Here. Yeah, you took him out. All right. Uh, oh, there is a save point here. Might as well make use of that. You save. God, I wonder how close we are to the end. Quite curious. I don't think there's anything that lets us know. No, not really. Oh, there's a new enemy over there, and I think I want to check out what this monolith is. Plus the new enemy. Let's check this out, see if there's anything to discover. No. Oh, there's a plant. I'll take that. And let's see what you got. Show me what you got. You're just lucky I made it quick. Yeah, there are things worse than death. Okay, I think I didn't get to see the that one completely or if I had it's been a while all right so we've got hmm 
All right, let's go for the cold red demon. We gotta fight you because you're just. <laughs> we used to play tag all the time. I won't let you get away, Velvet. You know me not! That was the whole Damn. reason I took him from Teresa. It's just another necessary sacrifice for peace. <gasps> Shit. Inominat, you monster! Inominat to the front of us, a dragon to the back of us. Reaper's curse doesn't begin to describe it. What a shame. Is that despair, I sense? Uh -huh. Not on your life! It'll take more than this to make your big sister break. The more you resist, the more you'll suffer. Velvet! Let me punish this rotten little delinquent. You're just a Moloch. You don't stand a chance. I'm not just any Moloch. And I'm sick of murdering scum like you! I know no limits! For I am Zavid! Zavid! This is officially too damn much. We'll be fine. Take them out one by one! All right. Oh, it's a hell kite. Oh boy. Oh boy. Oh boy. Oh boy. If only right. I'd been a larger vessel. Save your regrets for later. We're dead if we don't focus. Hi. Right. Bringing him a swift death would be a mercy. Told you you would suffer. Safid. I'll hold off, you know me not. Everyone else, take out that dragon. 
There's no way you can face him alone. At least let me assist you. This isn't an order. It's strategy. I'm counting on you, Fee. For something that's a mere part of me, you're awfully uppity. But you probably can't destroy something that's part of you. I am the Mala Mafia set. I am my own master! I miscalculated before. I won't hold back this time. And neither will we! Nothing's changed! We're still in the same shape! his asshole. Big, but you're struggling even to protect yourself. <laughs> if you apologize now, I'll make sure it doesn't hurt when I devour you. No way I'm apologizing! Not to some jerk who doesn't understand how Velvet feels! And you're saying that you do? She's my sister. I know everything, but I won't tell you! So be it. If I devour you, we'll be one again anyway. The compass. She isn't yours. Velvet is velvet. <sighs> And you're just a fragment of me! Guys, look out! No! So that was your strategy. Hey! Give us more warning! You almost roasted us alive! You've really... done it now! I'll turn you into a dragon. See who's left in this!
That was interesting. They got away. A silver flame. A strange art that Malak used. Did you forget that you have the power to digest malevolence? That thing may be a fragment, but it's still part of you. But the dragon attacked me. If it hadn't disrupted my concentration like that, I never would have let my fragment lay a finger on me. So long as you learn from your mistake, such a ruse won't work a second time. After all, Malakim are mere servants of the Empyreans. As long as we stay wary, they pose no threat to our ideal world. Your awakening is nearly complete. None within your domain can stand against you without the power of the four elemental Empyreans. And they are fast asleep, far beneath the Earth pulses. I'm going after them. No, not now. We need to make preparations for the ceremony of suppression. We'll send this one after them instead. A demon? Will he be reliable? True, he can be hard to control. Even after he succumbed to demonhood, he withstood my illusions for seven days and nights. Even now, he resists on an instinctual level. However, he used to be known as the most fearsome pirate in all the seas. Oh. His strength is equal to any legates. You, capture the Therion Velvet. Do whatever you have to, as long as you keep her alive. Wait. First... First, kill him. Kill Lafisset. Before my sister's eyes. He's the only thing keeping her from falling to despair. <laughs> it's true. Demon or not, he still possesses an odd sort of pride. I'll have to relieve him of such a meaningless burden. Is that demon Eifried? Is that what's happening here? Well, that made for good training, at least. We fought an Armatus, an Empyrean, and a dragon. It's a miracle we're still alive. It's all thanks to Fee. He's still asleep. He must have used all his physical and mental strength. Fire that burns away malevolence. That's quite the talent he's got there. Is it because he's part of Enominot? Sure could be. In one sense, that's a lucky break for us. But on the other hand... <sighs> anyway, I lost that bet. And I was so sure I was gonna win, too. Awful lot of drama you're making over 100 gold. Don't you dare laugh off 100 gold! One with no respect for gold will be by 20 lions mauled. Everyone knows that. Right. Anyway, what do we do next? Nothing's changed. We seal Inominat away and kill Artorius. Even if Inominat has awakened, there must be a way to seal him back again. Our best lead is still Grimoire's ancient book. We should meet up with Benwick and the others. Are you sure you want to stay with us? I don't know if it's the right choice or not. But I refuse to believe Lord Artorius is right. That sacrifices are inevitable bumps on the road to a better world. That's why I'll do what I believe is right, and fight him. Even if I'm wrong, I won't have any regrets. Do you have any idea how frustrating you are? Hear one to talk. Aizen, get in touch with Benwick and the others. That demon... it had to have been. Aizen? I think we need a break more than anything. That was a long stretch of battle. Seconded. Besides, the boy and Zavid aren't waking up anytime soon. Let's find a place to sleep for tonight. Eleanor, look after Lafayette. Maybe you ought to carry him. He did all this for you. Please. Very well. All right. You can at oh. least carry the poor kid. Damn, you're cold. No, quite the opposite. Yeah. 
compass broke in that last encounter. Oh, this is where we are. We're at this place. Okay. Um, oh, shoot. We, we didn't get a chance to go after the uh, cold red demon. Damn it. We have to get back over there. I thought about that when I saw this guy. Alright. We're defeating Wanton Devil. Alright. Do I have anything else? Oh. Wait a minute. There was one on the uh, map. Was it that? Was it just that dragon? Is that what it was? Because there's nothing shown here. So. Okay. Well. So much for that. Uh, what do we need to do? Rest at the airport Cadnix. What if we don't want to? What if we want to go somewhere else? Then we won't be able to continue the story. What was this place here? Well, first, let's see if there's anything useful here. What was this building? I hear they completed a new town. Wait, I'm not talking to you. I want to talk. Enter here. Right, it's just stuff. All right, forget this. Not that worth it. Not that much worth it. All right, let's head to the inn and. I'm glad you didn't win that bet, Mogilu. Sure, you're glad, but what witch would be happy at losing? And you pampered Velvet like crazy! It's your fault I lost! Really? I don't remember doing anything. Nope, wasn't us. <laughs> Staying out of it is just as bad! If you don't throw salt or sugar into an open wound, you're guilty of being too nice! I lost the bet because of you. You owe me. In that case, let us get in on the action. Let's make another bet. Oh? I'm listening. I'll bet 10,000 gold that Velvet cracks. Oh. I'll make that same bet. 10,000. Uh huh. Hey, wait a minute. You both know that I'm the one who wants to bet that she cracks. Then you should have spoken up first. We can call the whole thing off if you want. No, no. What kind of gambler would I be if I back down now? I'm afraid I have to take that bet. I hereby bet 10,000 that Velvet doesn't crack. <laughs> What's so funny? For someone so stubborn, you can be surprisingly cute sometimes. You're calling a witch cute? That's slander! You both owe me the money you bet as reparations! <laughs> She's a nut, man. <laughs> reparations! Alright, finally we can start collecting uh, spirit orbs again. It's been a while since we've had any of those. All right, uh, let's just, it's not dilly-dally, let's go into the inn. Give me that spirit orb. Odorless fluid. All right, finish up. Uh, do -do 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 -do. Hold on a second. Since we're a town, I think it's time. This almost looks like... <laughs> Yeah, I'm gonna like that. Do we want to change anybody else around? I think I want to go back to some of their other stuff. We don't got. Oh god, I forgot we got that. Ugh. What other hats? Oh no no. <laughs> All right, I'm getting tired of these horns. That's that's for sure. Uh, what do we want to give him? Should we just give him the mustache again? Only the mustache, that's all. There we go. And I'm kinda tired of the white bunny ears. So we can go to black bunny ears. No. Oh, she looks funny with the horns. Can we change the horns to a different color? Uh, let's see how they look. Oh, is it just changing the uh, little rings? Oh, there's a kind of glow to it. Nah, she doesn't... She doesn't look good with uh, with the horns. There's those bangs again. Frameless glasses. I kind of like her with, the, with, with glasses. And yeah, we're going with that look. Alright. Is there anybody else we wanted to... Except, no. Oh, right. We don't got Laffy set. 
Oh, expedition is returned. Let's do that. Uh, go Scout explore, ship man. setting set. All right, let's go. We look absolutely exhausted. Hurry to a room. Yes. So, should I think of you as my sister? I'm a Moloch named Ceres. I've inherited Selica's memories, that's all. And that doesn't make you the same person? What exactly defines a person's identity? I may have her body and her memories, but... <sighs> You're right. If your soul has changed, you're not the same person anymore. Even if I were Selica, I don't have the right to be called your sister. I followed Artorius' orders without question, sacrificing my own flesh and blood. What about me? I devoured you. I have no right to condemn you for what you've done. There's a difference, Velvet. I wanted you to do it. Even had I survived, I would have given myself to you before long. I wanted you to have my power, no matter the cost. But why? Right after the advent, Selica's memories returned to me. <sighs> it was then I understood what exactly it was I had done. Arthur, kind and caring, transformed into the cruel Artorius he is now. Why did your memories return? I don't know. I've heard that very rarely Malakim can regain the memories of their previous lives. Or perhaps... This is my punishment for the pain I brought to you all. The stronger I feel my love for Arthur, the less I can forgive Artorius. My hatred of him has grown so deep I'm not Selica anymore. As Ceres, I can never bring back the Arthur that I loved. Neither do I have the power to defeat Artorius. But you can. You're Aetherian. You fully absorbed my power. You can face the Shepherd. I know. I will stop him. Forgive me, Velvet. I've pushed everything onto you. My hatred, my determination. I wanted to apologize one last time at the end. I'm glad I had a chance to know you. I'm glad that once I could be Lofi's sister. And Selica and Arthur's sister as well. I was happy. Should you be up so soon? Yeah, but... Stay back! <gasps> it's finally come to this. But of course it did. After all, I chose my revenge over a world of peace. I can't complain if people call me the Lord of Calamity. Velvet, whether you're human, demon, or Lord of Calamity... It doesn't change that you have beautiful hair. Lafi said the same thing to me a long time ago. He gave me this comb. Your heart, I can tell it aches. Yes. But even still, no, because of that, I've made up my mind. I'm going to settle things with Artorius and Inominat, once and for all. It must be done. For my sake, and for the sake of those I loved. I will too. Even without my compass, I'll place my hand on the wheel and chart my own course. I will defeat Artorius. 
But if I kill Inomi not, Lafayette and me and the other Therians, they'll all. A compass. Hmm. All right, sleepy time. There more story? Yes. Aizen! Why the hell didn't you say something? <laughs> Calm down. You were passed out at the time, okay? <laughs> I'm going. I've got to stop him. What's going on? We got a message from the Von Eltia. That's great. Is everyone okay? Yeah. For now. Huh? While Benwick and the others were making their getaway, they got word that Eifried was spotted in Endgand. They said they're on their way to Lionel Island to meet him. That has to be... Yes, a trap. No doubt set by that horned demon, who may even be Eifried himself. Eifried is a demon? Are you serious? I said may. Let's head to Lionel Island. Whoever it is, it's a lead. Besides... We can't afford to lose the Von Eltia. How will we get there? Zavid probably sailed off with the ship we came in on. We'll steal one from the harbor. I may be a calamity, but I'm frugal. <laughs> the frugal calamity. All right. Um, at this point, we are over Curse time. All. If only I'd notice sooner. All right. We are over time. And we've got a few things to check out in this town before we head off to steal a ship. So let's go ahead and quick save here and end things here. And that'll be it for now, guys. Thank you so much for watching. And I'll see you soon.